a Tennessee man faces up to three years in prison for urinating on a Kellogg's cereal conveyor belt at a South Memphis facility four years ago, it was announced Tuesday. Gregory Stanton, 49, pleaded guilty in front of U.S. District Judge John P. McCalla on Friday to tampering with consumer products. He was indicted by a grand jury September 11 for tainting consumer products with the intent to cause serious injury to the business of any person. Images emerged of the 2014 incident two years later in March 2016, when Stanton uploaded the incriminating footage to the internet himself, and it went viral on Worldstern Cut. Calm. Stanton's clip showed him relieving himself on the conveyor belt of cereal and two years ago it was reported products affected could include Rice Krispies, Rice Krispies treats and puffed rice cake items. By the time the general public laid eyes on the video, it was likely the products affected had already been distributed and expired. The video led the company to alert law enforcement and launched an investigation that involved the Food and Drug Administration. It has been more than two years since this incident came to our attention, and we are pleased that the responsible individual was brought to justice, a Kellogg's spokesperson told WMC-TV Tuesday. We want to thank the FDA and U.S. Attorney's Office for their commitment. It's unclear what prompted Stanton to urinate on the line or to film and share the act. However Reg TV reports the company and workers union were involved in a labor dispute at the time. American citizens and consumers rely upon food manufacturers engaged in interstate commerce to provide them with safe and consistent products. This defendant betrayed the trust by tampering with untainting food products, U.S. Attorney D. Michael Dunavant. We commend the Food and Drug Administration for their investigation in this matter, and we are pleased that the defendant has been held accountable for his criminal conduct. Stanton is set to be sentenced on February 28, and as well as incarceration. He could face three years of supervised release a fine of $250,000. Share this article share in 2016 a representative warned they would be working to prosecute to the full extent of the law. Assistant U.S. Attorney Tony Arvin is prosecuting the case on behalf of the government. Now the focus is on making sure an incident like this is unlikely to be able to occur again. Maintaining the safety and wholesomeness of the U.S. food supply is a critical priority for the FDA, Robert Heiser, acting special agent in charge at the FDA Office of Criminal Investigations Miami Field Office said. In the statement published by the Department of Justice, Heiser added, the agency will work with food producers to identify steps that can be taken to remediate incidents that may implicate food safety. Today's announcement should serve as a clear reminder that the FDA will not tolerate illicit tampering activity in our nation's food supply.